Hello, my name is Giovanni Mezgitz. I'm the general manager of Blink Marketing here at Microsoft. On November 11, we will announce that the next version of Blink will be called Skype for Business. Skype for Business will be available in the first half of 2015, and it will bring together the familiar experience and end-user love of Skype with the enterprise security compliance and control of Blink. This presentation is for our Microsoft field and for our partners. The purpose is to explain the announcement around Skype for Business to our enterprise BDM and TDMs. The objective of the presentation is to position communication as core to Microsoft vision to reinvent productivity, introduce Skype for Business and articulate its connection to Link and Skype, and motivate the customers to take action and be interested in this topic. The first slide is to set the center around communication at the heart of productivity. Microsoft recently shared its vision and mission to reinvent productivity. We envision our technology serving people to get things done in a world where work and life are really just life. Connecting people across all of life's moment to talk, to share, to collaborate, it's at the art of making this vision real. In a first step, we're bringing together the familiar experience and end user love of Skype with the enterprise security, compliance, and control from Link to create the most loved and trust communication platform for doing things together. In the business world, people use various methods every day to communicate and collaborate to get their jobs done. From audio conferencing to telephony to web conferencing, all these tools create a complex web that people have to use every day to communicate with each other effectively. For the past 10 years, Microsoft has invested in the transformation of business, disrupting the status quo with Link by simplifying and unifying all the different tools people use to communicate for work. We made Link a core part of Office to make it easy for people to connect with others to get work done. Link means the freedom to work anywhere. It's like tapping someone on the shoulders to say, let's chat, no matter where you are in the world. Colleagues meet together and make decisions in an instant, and IT professionals rest easy knowing that the, their users are supported by a secure platform that they manage and control. Today, thousands of organizations, large and small, count on Link for voice, video, and conferencing. On the other side, Skype forever changed the way people shared their lives together. A decade ago, Skype broke down the distance barrier by bringing people together from all over the world. It forever changed the way consumers share their lives by getting friends and family together to celebrate special moments and create extraordinary bonds. Today's Skype is so much more. It is used by more than 300 million people for messaging, calling, and sharing. It lets people and groups together connect in a more spontaneous way across multiple platforms to have fun and to get things done. From desktop to mobile to TV, it's for communicating throughout the days, every day. Skype is a universal symbol of togetherness. This slide is the most important of the deck. It introduces Skype for Business and really explains how it brings together the familiar experience and end-user love of Skype together with the enterprise security, compliance, and control of Blink. Our customers will not lose any functionality. They will only get more usability and user friendliness from everything that we have learned from Skype together with everything that we have learned with Link, combined together in a single product for them to deploy and use. In the first half of 2015, we will ship the next version of Link with a new name of Skype for Business. Together with that, we will deliver a new client experience, a new server release, and we will update the Office 365 service. We believe that Skype for Business will again transform the way people communicate by giving organizations reach of hundreds of millions of Skype users outside the walls of their business. You can use the slide to describe the Skype for Business user interface on the client side. It is super important to emphasize that Skype for Business takes advantage of the strengths of both Skype and Link and that our approach is all about putting people at the center of the communication experience. What you will see is that this slide has a few screenshots. You can use the screenshots to call out the functionality. The first screenshot that you see here, it's basically the home page of Link, where you can see the things that you can do with Link, as well as the people that you connect with. You will start immediately by noticing 
that the color of the client has actually changed and that the name of the client has actually changed to reflect the new brand of Skype for Business. No matter, you will also be able to see that you have all the features of link available at your fingertips. You can still search for people. You can still con call people and start IM conversations with people. Users of Link in the past will be able to use Skype for Business in seconds. And users that have used Skype in the past will be able to use Skype for Business in seconds. It's the best of both worlds. The next screenshot is an example of the user interface we're adopting when people actually use the product in a call. You will see that we're adopting the familiar Skype icons for calling, adding video, and ending a call. This is much easier than anything we've had in the past. With just a few clicks, you can get to the, all the functionality of links right on your fingertips. All the years of usability on Skype and the 300 million users that use Skype every month have taught us how to do this right. And we're all including it in Link for all our organizational customers to use and deploy. Lastly, the third screenshot shows how we're using call monitor from Skype, which keeps an active call visible in a small window even when a user moves focus to the other application. Again, this is all the usability learning that we've had on Skype brought right into the new Skype for Business for our users to take advantage of. Skype for Business adds video calling and access to the Skype user directory, making it possible to call any Skype users on any device. With a few simple click, a Skype for Business user will be able to search the Skype user directory. We use Bing technology to make it easy for people to access information and find the person that they're looking for in the Skype user directory. They can add it to their colleague list, and they can communicate with them anytime, just as what they do with people within the firewall. This slide is also very important. It allows you to talk about the fact that we will be releasing a new version of the Link server as Skype for Business Server. Current Link customers will be able to take advantage of the new capabilities of the server simply by updating from Link Server 2013 to the new Skype for Business servers in their data centers. No new hardware is required. For Office 65 customers, it's even simpler. We will do that work without requiring any updates from them. And because communications is mission critical, this release meets a new bar for reliability and performance. This slide is also very important. It allows you to talk about the value of Skype for Business and how it builds on the current value of Link. I start by saying that over the last decade, Link has helped organizations realize dramatic improvements in end user productivity, more seamless connection with the people that matter most to their business, and significant cost savings from an IT perspective. Skype for Business will take all that on and extend the value of the organization to enable the following. First, even faster in user adoption. Over 300 million people use Skype every day in their personal lives. Over a billion people have used Skype ever in their life. Everybody knows what Skype is and how it works. Skype for Business delivers that same familiar and loved experience in the workplace which will translate to faster adoption cycle, less training, and fewer call to help desk because people show up at work already familiar and know how to use it. A deeper ability to reach customers, partners, and suppliers, and other people that matter most to your business. Because of Skype for Business ability to connect with the Skype directory, it gives your ability to access to hundreds of millions of people that use Skype every day. Just by a few clicks, your partners and suppliers will be able to access the Skype network and have the same incredible functionality that you have currently available within your intranet to them, extend it to them. Lastly, Skype for Business continues the tradition of Link to offer cost savings and efficiencies for both users and IT through the unification and simplification of communication. As a core component of Office 65, it allows people to select and choose and deploy functionality very easily with much user's cost savings than before. The next slide is to help you remind our customers that they're already benefiting from Link today. Microsoft is already a market leader in communications, and 
what you have here on the slides are a few studies that showcase that. First, T3i recently published impact of Microsoft Link on the enterprise voice market. This research found that 79% of US enterprises are currently deploying or planning to deploy at Link. The same research states that 38% of these enterprises prefer Microsoft as their voice vendor, a higher percentage of any other vendor in the marketplace today. Forrester TEI study estimates that Link offers an MVP of 2.46 million, about $493 per user, over three years for an average company. Lastly, Gardner and Forrester have also ranked Microsoft as a leader in the space. Look up the reports on unified communication and corporate telephony categories to see Microsoft as a leader in the market. Access the full reports to the website. The next slide just offers some real examples of customers using and deploying Link. HP and Shell, and as an example, have some of the largest implementation of Link on the planet. HP in particular, also our partner, is ramping up a Link deployment up to 400,000 of their users. Find the case study here, provide it to your customers a proof points of the value that we've offered to these organizations today. Lastly, you must talk about the next steps to our customers. You've seen that our announcement talks about the new product, but doesn't offer a beta yet. These next steps are important things to set up so that the customers have clear expectation on what to do next. The objective today is for the customer to learn more about our plans and what we offer. This is a significant change. We're renaming Link after three years more that we've been in the market with this brand. Their users will have to be trained, or at least notified of the changes. Make sure that the customer knows about this and knows that they will have to do some work to plan accordingly for their deployments. The next step will be in the January-February timeframe. We will work with our partners then to offer our customers help to choose their approach on how to deploy Skype for Business. Skype for Business will be available as part of Office 65. Skype for Business will also be available as a server product on-prem. The customer must choose what route they want to use to deploy this important technology. The next steps will be to actually prepare the organization and to deploy the rollout and expand the user base. We believe that this is the true moment where the value of the new product will come to life. Users will be able to recognize the Skype brand and know what it's for. And rollouts and expansion of those rollouts will be much different than anything we have done in the past. And that concludes the short presentation. Thank you for your interest and thank you for bringing this incredible new product to the market and to our customers. If you want to find more information, remember we also have an NDA presentation that talks about what we're delivering on Skype for Business as well as our future roadmap for the next 18 months.